Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly. We're here today with senior Samson Axe from Menlo, Col Menlo School. Uh, he plays football. He, uh, last week against Carlmont, uh, rushed for over 100 yards, caught a couple passes, scored a couple touchdowns, and Menlo beat Carlmont, which is a huge win for them. And uh, he's our Athlete of the Week this week, and we'll, talk, we'll start there with the Carlmont game, just kind of generally talk about the game. All right, so the Carlmont game, it was our homecoming game, and Menlo put on an amazing show for all of us. Um, out here, we had food trucks, everyone, a lot of the alumni were back in town, too. So they really had a lot going for this homecoming game. Along with that, it was the Menlo's first night game, which was really fun. And we knew that uh, Carlmont was going to be a tough opponent, so we knew we had to really step over our game and practice that week. And that's what we did, and we were able to compete. And it was great. And the atmosphere was the best atmosphere I've ever played any sports game in. Uh, a lot of that was due to our um, kind of like our fans and especially Ocean of Blue, which is like our uh, main fan group uh, here in Menlo. Great. So uh, you get into the game, you get you're all excited, you're ready to go. And you know what? How, how do you know? I know I know they took the first touchdown, but then you guys came back. But I, you know what? What kind of was the key to that game? Um, I think the key was just to, a lot of our players play both sides of the ball, so it was just not to focus on the mistakes and just keep on pushing and know that we were continuously just able to stay in the game. Great. Now, I know you lost one league game, but you're, you're back in the, in the hunt again. you got a big game coming up, of course. Uh, what does this win do for you for the rest of the season? Um, I think it definitely puts us in a good spot. It gives us the confidence that we need, but hopefully we carry over the work and the confidence and don't get too cocky and uh, think that some other teams in the league are going to be pushovers when they're really going to be a great game. Right. Kind of talk about your offense a little bit because you got yourself and uh, you also have a receiver that's pretty good and, and two quarterbacks. And, and I guess the other quarterback is also a receiver. Kind of talk about what that means to have all those guys. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our skill positions, people can play a ton of positions, which is really nice to have. Um, it's also really nice because last year with all our quarterbacks out, I kind of just like relied a lot on the run. But this year we can able to do run, pass, special plays, just so many different things that we can do. That's right. And, uh, you know, before I forget, you know, we, we should mention that as a running back, of course, you like your line. So if you want to give a shout out to them. Oh, yeah. My line is the best line. Um, I love them. I mean, uh, they're a little banged up after this week, but I'm really hoping that they can come back and definitely just start making those holes again that they made so well last week. Great. Now, you're going to Trinity, I understand, and you're going to try to play football and lacrosse. Uh, you know, how does one help the other lacrosse and football? I would say the football, um, it definitely helps just the physical side of the lacrosse. A lot of lacrosse players focus a lot more on the skill than they do athletics. And I feel that football really helps uh, the athletic, your athletic ability carry over into lacrosse. Great. Ned. And you've been playing lacrosse for quite a while now, so it's a, it's a nice sport to have. Uh, kind of talk about your choice uh, to go to Trinity and, and you know being able to play two sports. Yeah, so um, my choice, I made it later than a lot of other people just because I wasn't really sure what I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted to go D1, D3, all that situation. And then I finally decided on Trinity just because I was able to play two sports, and I love football and lacrosse, and I just can't wait to continue to play them both. Right, and of course Trinity has a good reputation as a, as a top div Division three uh, school. So, I mean, and of course you're going out of town a little bit. Do you understand what's going on in Texas and everything? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be hard to be out so far from home all the time. But, I mean, I've been doing a lot of travel for lacrosse, so I think I'm, I should be more or less used to it. Great. So we've been talking to Samson X. He is our Athlete of the Week this week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you want to find out about next week's Athlete of the Week, just hit that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.